Hi everyone. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm just going to read out of Treading on Serpents again right now uh, for April 8th by Tina Plackinger. But I was going to tell everybody I've been kind of slow on making videos. I have some other things going on right now, so it's kind of just uh, knocking me out a little bit here, you know. And just wanted to read Treading on Serpents for everyone. So, here's April 8th. Second. Sorry. Okay. There are six things the Lord hates, and the seventh is detestable to him. A person who stirs up conflict in the community. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. We seem to attract a one-minded people, no matter where we live. In my case, I am dealing with a female neighbor who has just reached the highlight of her life by becoming an organized gang-stalking perpetrator. Since childhood, she daydreamed about playing Special Agent 99 from Get Smart and is now overly eager to begin her spying debut. She starts off overly friendly, only to stab me with the occasional and subtle verbal insults. Each time her eyes exhibit the lustful fulfillment of a starving hyena feeding on a carcass. Perps will use this technique of reeling us in with kindness and then softly abusing us in increments. This game is supernatural and nothing other than demonic. I start to watch her as she comes and goes in her everyday life. I can clearly see the weight of misery on her. Because when a human being engages in behavior that is morally wrong, it takes its toll. Although Satan runs this world, it still belongs to God, and he has his way of dealing with sin. We can examine the unfolding of a perpetrator's self-destruction with our gift of discernment, which we obtain and maintain by knowing the Holy Spirit. We can watch the entanglement of our enemy's feet as they get caught in their own net. Psalms 57, 6. When we follow kingdom principles, that is, we work under God's laws and live by a different standard of rules. We will watch our enemies hang themselves with the rope that they meant for us. This is how God works. He takes those things that were meant for evil and turns them around for our good. And the scripture for the day here at the bottom is... Deuteronomy 27, 24. Cursed is the one who attacks his neighbor secretly. So, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll talk to you later. I love you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. See you, love you, bye.